Hey, Richard. Uh, I was wanting to ask you about that 19 play drive and just kind of what was kind of going – I mean, that, that's abnormally long and it was probably a frustrating drive. What was kind of your mindset on that one as you kind of see some teammates leave the game and, and uh, you know, how, how did you guys eventually kind of stiffen and, and keep them out of the end zone? I mean, we kept uh, chopping, kept playing the play. We're not able to, uh, you know, control about, you know, who get hurt and things like that. The team kept on playing, man. I think we hold them to three points that uh, drive. Um, but other than that, man, we just had to keep on playing. It's nothing that could have stopped us uh, from being able to stop those guys. Kentucky had, you know, great momentum going into it. We were able to, you know, pick up a little momentum at the end, show our toughness and physicality. And um, that was, you know, pretty much it. Hey, Richard, you guys lost a ton of guys with a defense injury in the game today. When that kind of thing is going, I know you always preach next next man up, but after a while, is it like, like just, man, what can go wrong next? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, sorry to say it, but it really is like the next man up in this, you know, profession. You know, we got guys that came here uh, to, to, to do these things. You know, a couple guys got dinged up, but we, we're ready to, uh, you know, come back this week, fix what we need to fix um, from today's game get guys ready, and uh, there's a lot of guys, you know, that's waiting to get their chance to be able to show what they, to show the world what they're able to do. And I'm excited for those guys who are stepping in, and I feel, you know, I pray a speedy recovery for the guys that uh, got hurt. Next two questions will go to Dean Leggy, followed by Brandon Sudge. Richard, y'all couldn't quite get off the field a couple of times. Was that a matter of – you know, missed tackles or just Kentucky's physicality? What was it? I mean, you got three three on the board. I mean, that's hardly bad, but it's, yeah. it seemed like y'all never could quite get off the field when you wanted to. Yeah, definitely could have tackled better. There's a lot of things that we could have done better as a defense. Uh, you know, the guys fought, fought hard, though, uh, kept on pushing. Um, you know, we still corralled around, around each other, made sure we let each other know that we got each other back, and we kept on pushing forward. Like I said before, um, there's not really much, you know, that I can – you know, say about which play on which drive, but it was just a lot of things that we could have done better. Um, and I'm, you know, still proud of these guys. We, we got to get back to the drawing board because we're far from perfect. We got to definitely fix some things. Um, we do better tackling, but, you know, there's something we can improve on. Um, Richard, and then in terms of the offense, so when they're able to run the ball like that and take time off the clock, um, how much easier does it make it on the defense in terms of, Y'all not having to go back out there um, so often and have some time. Um, yeah, definitely, man. Whenever, you know, we're able to have an offensive drive, it's very long, and we get to sit over there and make adjustments. Um, guys get to get a load off, get off their feet. Um, you know, is that, that's something that's good. We can always, you know, be thankful for those type of uh, situations in the game. Give us a quick blow over to, like I said, make adjustments and, and be able to, uh, you know, cheer those guys on when they have the ball. Next two questions will go to Jillian McIntyre, followed by Mark Weiser. Hey, I'll, I'll actually take this one for, for Jillian for the red and black. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to ask Richard, you know, how do you assess, uh, you know, your run defense after a game like this? You know, two games in a row, um, you know, Alabama, Kentucky, able to put up a lot of yards. Um but they weren't able to get in the end zone. You know, how do you assess your, your run defense and where you stand with that now? Uh, yeah, we're definitely known for being a, you know, a run-stopping defense. Uh, we got to be able to, you know, stop allowing the other team to put as much rushing yards as they did the last two games. Um, you know, those guys still up front still, uh, fight, you know, fight injuries. Big Jordan, Julian, those guys got hurt. That played a lot of um, into it. You know, guys definitely have to step up though also. Uh, we have to make sure that we put our foot in the ground and, and keep the ball from going north when it's, uh, when it's on the ground. Is there any big way uh, Alabama that you just played in Florida that you're going to play a different style of offenses than what you just went up against? Uh, you know, is there any carryover you think from this game to the next one, or maybe just confidence that you only go for field goal? Um, I mean, yeah, definitely, you know, we really haven't got a chance to look at Florida yet and uh, all the things that they'll be able to do. But there's also a lot of things that we can improve on as a defense. Um, like I said before, tackling, being able to, you know, stop the run a little bit more. Other than that, we're we'll, going we'll, to, uh, you know, go back to the drawing board tomorrow, clean up what we need to fix, and uh, be ready Monday to start our preparation for Thanks, Richard. Appreciate your time. Thank you.